Today we shuffle against crime and the forces of evil. Let's talk about that. Now, it's no secret that superheroes have been given a new life in the past couple of decades. Sorry, Whoa, are you sorry, okay? Sorry, just, I know you love superheroes. Just, just calm down a little yeah, bit. They're so, they're so heroic. Are you excited about the upcoming release of the new Black Widow movie? I, is, that what's, is that what's happening I here? think so. I, yes, I am. Okay. I will see it. Okay, so lots of superheroes are Eventually. now household names. But how long have these household names been in said household? Yes, That's the question. Exactly. And you know what? Almost a decade ago, on this show, mm -hmm. you stated that Hawkman was your favorite superhero. Does that still stand all these years later? Of course it does. That's why I keep my original Hawkman cardboard helmet from the trailer that we made yeah. 10 years ago <laughs> or so. Uh, right here, off camera, constantly. It's always right here. Yeah, I know. I, I can't know. put it on because of the bun, but it's always right here. Well, if so, uh, do you know when Hawkman first dropped? 1962, man. 1940. Oh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> that was just a guess. I didn't know. Yeah, it's, I'm not uh, going to be great at this it's game. It's obvious at this point because it was wrong. Yeah, that's why we're going to play this game. Uh, all right. Okay, it's time for the Shuffleboard Game Superhero Edition. Welcome to the Shuffleboard Game Zone. All right, y'all know how this works. In every round, we're going to have an actual superhero appear right here on our set on this super pedestal. Yes. And then we're going to have to guess which decade that superhero actually debuted into the world. And then we're going to guess by rolling our superhero avatars down to the appropriate decade. Whoever's closest to the actual year wins that round, and the overall winner of the game is crowned to become Master Mythical, a brand new superhero who get, gets a special cape wow. and the ability to summon mythical items throughout Good Mythical More. Hmm. Let's shuffle. Let's meet our first superhero. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Hi, Mr. Murdolph. Hey, Mr. Neil. That's my son. That's our thingling. <laughs> What's tingling? My spidey senses. Okay, as I'm long gonna, as that's all that's tingling. His le <laughs> Spider Man's left foot almost missed the pedestal. Okay, Link, you won last time, so you get to go first. And we were just uh, told a second ago no one has won this game two times in a row since October of last year. For the first time. Exciting. And check this out I get to shuffle the me. Look at you got Superhero himself down here with the longer hair version. And then you got Sidekick here. If you don't know, these are these are old school characters of ours. Uh, very pleased to see them return and be catapulted down to Spider-Man's original decade. You know what? I think it's 1950. Okay. Okay, Sidekick, land right on the 1950. <laughs> Whoa! I thought it was going what were you so, laughing at? It was huh? going so slow and it just kept going. All right. right. Okay. Uh, and I like a little 1930. That's good. I was thinking 1960, but because okay. I know that Stan Lee invented Spider Man, right? It's got to be 50s or 60s. So I, I, I'm trying to slip by Sidekick, not hit him and waste a bump, get into the 50s, but be closer to the 60s. This may be trying too much at once. Okay, because you only have one bump. Oh, he's going to bump me. You, uh, have, you bumped me. I wasted a you bump. You wasted your bump and you're in 1970. Stevie? Born uh. out of the silver age of comic books where comics reach new heights in commercial success due to the superheroes' more humanistic and flawed natures, the belovedly awkward Spider-Man first appeared in Amazing Fantasy number 15 in 1962. Ooh, you were right. I think I'm closer. Are you? Well, we gotta get it. We need to. Well, I don't know. We gotta have a measurement. We need a measurement. I well, look, am pretty look, positive you're, right you're closer to that, sixty. I'm a teeny bit closer. Dang it! You lucky dog. But I wasted a bump. Get the point. Who do we have here? I shall shed my light over dark evil, for the dark <laughs> things cannot stand the light, the light of the Green Lantern. <laughs> wow, that is intimidating. He's gonna shed his. He's gonna what? Shed my light. His light. He's got his... over what? Over dark evil. <laughs> nice. Got the ring right there. Okay, Green Lantern. All right. Uh, so I've taken the early lead, so I go first, right? Mm -hmm. My instinct about Green Lantern is earlier than Spider Man. I think he might be earlier than Hawkman, or right around the same time. Because wow. It's a lantern. 
Lantern? Kids don't care about lanterns now. Or in the by the 40s? Yeah. <laughs> no, or back, the 50s? I think this is back when lanterns still mattered. So I'm going, uh, I think 20s might be too early. That's like pre-superhero era. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to land on the T of the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. Okay. Whoa, a little okay. short. I've got to get around you What's your here. guess, though? Anything beyond you. Okay, all right. I'm taking a risk that the answer is not 1940. So I'm going for between 30s and 50s. I do not want to touch you. Yeah, don't waste a bump like I did. Well, you better hope it's 1930. Oh, god. Because that might be your only, well, no, no 1950. It, yeah. Unlike most superheroes, the Green Lantern title is not exclusive to one person. Although the most famous version, Hal Jordan, debuted in 1959, the first Green Lantern, Alan Scott, was introduced in All American Comics number 16 in 1940. Yeah! <laughs> oh, dang it! Woo! I mean, you're just lucky so far, but that's all right. That's all right. Okay. I'll come back. I'll right, take green. I'll take luck. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, in last year's Mythical Census, we learned that one out of five of you liked metal. Seriously. So you know what we did? We took that insight and we made this metal tea inspired by the classic metal bands from when we were kids, like Metal Death, ACTC, and Judas Priest. Pretty cool. Hopefully, one out of every five of you will buy it at mythical.com. See how that works? All right. We were told not to look towards David until now. I am the pretty sailor soldier of the moon. I am Sailor Moon. On behalf of the moon, I will punish you. <laughs> what have we done that we should be punished uh, on behalf of the moon? You look at the sun too long. Uh, what have you done uh, that looks so amazing? Yeah, right. Wow, okay. I don't, I'm not a, mm, I don't, I'm not an expert here. So, I, I mean, it feels like 70s or 80s, probably 80s with that hair. Okay, I'm gonna try to land in between 70s and 80s. I don't wanna overthink this too much. You need to work on your pose game. I'm afraid of exp Nice exploits. shot. Okay, fully in the 80s with a little bit of a toe in the 70s. You don't want to do another pose? You're afraid of what? So what Sailor Moon does is she does this, uh, but you know, I'm, I don't want to, you know. I have to win this round to stay in this thing. Yeah, so I do. have to use my bump because 80s could be right. Could be right. It's like you're very flashy colors. So I, I think you're right with 80s. So I've got to blast you into 2000. because These are so top heavy though, these pucks. So you got to be careful. I don't, I don't you know don't, what the bounce is going to do. You don't lose it. I'm Fall. also top heavy. Okay. Yeah, nice. that's what I like. If it's in the 90s, I win. Anything else, you win. Sailor Moon, the iconic middle school student who befriended a talking cat that gifted her a magical brooch which transforms her into a sailor soldier, has been beautifully saving the world since she was introduced in 1991. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Today is not my day, oh. Sailor Soldier Moon. You're Tinker. punished. Uh, <laughs> hey, take him out back and punish him. <laughs> Who do we have here? I am Drax. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I am. Uh, Drax, where's, uh, where's Gamora? I'll do you one better, Mr. Voice Lady. Why is Gamora? I get that. I've seen the movies. That was funny. Okay, Jax is cool. I love some Guardians of the Galaxy, but here's the thing. I cannot... I you can't win it. I can't point. win, even though this isn't even the last round, and there are no bumps. I propose adding a new rule to thine scroll, okay? Okay. I got an idea here. Now, when you say thine scroll, you're talking about... The scroll of, Find scroll? Scroll of shuffle rules. Uh, it's not on here, and I'm not gonna take the time to write it, but I will say, this is, this is what I'm proposing. See, see what you think about this. If a player is facing a potential shutout, he shall be awarded- In round four. When players enter round four- And has no chance of winning. That player shall be awarded a second bump. Yes. This is too much for Drax. Can you? <laughs> does that does that seem right to you, Drax? If you say so, yes. Now it doesn't technically solve much because you still can't win, but it it can make you feel better. Okay, 
Drax, Guardians well, of the Galaxy. It feels like this is the kind of thing that was happening in the 80s, flying under the radar. Or did it happen in the 2000s and it all happened very quickly and then they just put the movie out? I don't know, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit the 80s and then rely on you bumping me, but your bump is just gonna push me into the 2000s, which I think is an equally good answer. So I'm trying to land in the 80s. That is a hard roll there. You oh! might have shot it. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy probably came about when they were like really obsessed with the galaxies. I think my answer would be 70s. But in order to ensure that I'm still in this and take advantage, I've got to knock you off, off the, board the board entirely. Okay. And then land in 1970. I'm going to knock you in the way I should have knocked you last time. This one's in honor of Gamora. <laughs> <laughs> Not my day! I love Not it. my day! The way your superhero just kind of settled face down like... <laughs> yeah, this is not your day, man. man. Not your day. Okay, Drax the Destroyer was actually just a normal human being until he was killed, had his spirit grabbed in the cosmos, and put into this powerful body to fight against Thanos. Drax has been engaging in intergalactic combat ever since his debut in the Invincible Iron Man number 55 in 1973. Ooh, you should have just landed on 70s and uh, gone you, with your instincts, You man. tempted me with the bump! Okay, who do we have now? I'm Batman. Oh. <laughs> nice voice, Batman. Thank you. This yeah. is wow. Your uh, your ears are kind of like they're they're going one direction. They've just been a washer. <laughs> <laughs> you do your own laundry, or is that an Alfred situation? Alfred did it for me. Alfred, okay. yeah, Alfred does that. I you cannot gotta, win. You got to tell him to iron the ears. You're gonna you're gonna go first. You have an opportunity to win, like always in the final round. According to the rules, a bank shot into the correct answer, completely circumscribed, if that's the right word. I ain't out of this, Batman. Batman's old. Superman is like. 30s probably, right? It feels like Batman was kind of on the heels of Superman, but 1940 has already been taken. I don't know, 1950. I hope you overshoot it. Okay, uh, I overshot it, but I'm a little bit so, in it. So I, I've got a bank shot and land directly in it. You've made it where that's impossible for 1950. Do you think 1950 is the correct answer? Well, I can't land on it, so I hope it's not. So 90, 70, 60, 40 are all taken. If you were able to b come right here and bank right here, I think technically you could fit right here. And if you basically get right here, even if you're going into the black a little bit, I'm still gonna say that that's good enough. I don't think, I don't think 1930 is the answer. I think that's too early. I think it has to be 50. I'm gonna see if I can slide in here. No! Oh, no! <laughs> how, appro how appropriate is that? Oh, man. You know what? I, I'm not, I, I'm quitting the rest of the day for anything. Okay, Stevie, what's the real answer? Believe it or not, that isn't Davin in costume, but actually billionaire Bruce Wayne. What? I'm not Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. <laughs> right. The infamous playboy philanthropist has been moonlighting as the notorious vigilante Batman ever since his first appearance in Detective Comics number 27 in 1939. Ooh, Ooh. it is the 30s. Wow, the 1930s. I couldn't, it, I couldn't have banked it anywhere, though. It doesn't matter. And... You know what? The back and forth battle continues, yes, right? Yes, it does. Because you have won, and you get to become Master Mythical. Well, I don't know what kind of powers I have, but Chase is my caper. <laughs> so you get to be Master, Master Mythical, Mythical, and you get to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, you should do that and click the bell. Master Mythical says do it. Subscribe. You know what time it is. I'm Ryan from Naperville, Illinois. And this is my superhero collection. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ryan's trying not to wake somebody up. <laughs> I bet he knows more than us about superheroes, too. Click the top link to watch us guess some weird superheroes' names based on their bizarre powers and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land, bring out your head banging inner beast with the Mythical Beast Classic Metal Tea. Available now at mythical.com.